Hello and welcome back to another episode of my RC Tugboat build vlog. Last episode we spent quite some time on detailing the steering house and in this episode I'd like to focus a bit more on the hull. Before we continue with the build I'd like to point a few things out I did off record. For instance you can see here I've built a small structure to securely place my battery. And I also had to rethink uh, the placement of my components, because if we take a look at the steering house from the bottom, you can see that this front section here doesn't give much space, uh, meaning most of your components need to be placed underneath this rear section here. And that's also the reason why the battery is now sitting on top of the motor shaft. Another thing I wanted to show you guys are the alterations I made to the steering system. As you might remember, I was using a combination of collars and servo horns simply glued together um, to steer the boat. So I had this installed here uh, for the rudder and of course here in front with the steering servo. Uh, unfortunately, as I was testing something, the whole thing broke apart and this is why now I'm using another system uh, consisting of these kind of pins that you screw to the servo horns. And if you drill this little hole a bit bigger, then you can insert the two steering cables and you can secure them using a screw. And as you can imagine, it was quite a nightmare to install this new system through uh, the two hatches. But now it's done and it works perfectly. With all these things being said, let's get working. Let's briefly talk about stands for our models. I tend to build two stands per model. So this is my simple but robust stand for when I'm at the pond. And then I like to build some more sophisticated ones for display purposes. Let's finish the steering house. just saw me add some more details to the model and I'd like to take a minute to talk about scale here. Uh, with the kit you'll get many pieces for decoration which is nice but some seem to be out of scale. For instance if I take this jerry can and place it close to my captain which is in the 1 to 18 scale you'll see that this thing is huge so I probably won't be using that and the fire extinguisher well it's not that out of scale but I think it's a bit odd to have a fire extinguisher outside of your cabin so I uh, probably won't be using it on this model. So this is the moment I intended to add some letters to the model and reveal the name of the boat. Unfortunately the decals I ordered did not make it in time. 
but luckily I have another option to show you guys what this model is going to be called and I think this will be the final step in our build. This is the name of my model. I think it really suits the boat well. Thank you for being part of this journey um, and for following this build. I had enormous fun making these videos and I hope to see you guys soon on an upcoming project. Um, please give a thumbs up if you like my content and of course subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. And until then, I say thank you and cheers.